A wastewater treatment plant with an average daily flow of 25 million gallons per day has disinfection with chlorine as the primary disinfectant. State codes require 30 minute contact time for peak hourly flow and a maximum chlorine doses capability of 14 milligrams per liter. With a chlorine demand of 10 milligrams per liter and the required free available total chlorine residual of 0.75 milligrams per liter, then the smallest available chlorinator that will provide the necessary dosage is A, 300, B, 275, C, 250, or D, 225. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Regarding the design of wastewater treatment systems, there's three things you should keep in mind. Number one, Detention basins allow for constant treatment, so whenever you're doing any calculations or design measurements, you can assume that there's constant flow in the system. Secondly, peak factors represent maximum flow to be received, even though this may occur only a few minutes daily. And lastly, engineering design must always account for worst case flows in other situations. So using the daily flow and the peak factor of the wastewater, along with the chlorine demand and required residual, we can solve this problem. We'll use the unit conversion of one milligram per liter equals 8.34 pounds per million gallons, and we get an answer of 6,724 pounds per day of chlorine. We'll convert that into an hourly rate, and we get 280.2 pounds per hour of chlorine. We'll look at our choices, and A is the only one that will accommodate this. Join us for episode 7 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.